All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. Gonna okay, get the boat here. Perfect. There we go. And we're still missing something. Oh. I don't know if we're ever gonna get that or not, but hopefully. So yeah, we made it back to the city. Oh my god. And I saved it at the city there, so we have to run back over here to the uh, Earth Falls Place Mountain. I think it's the mountain right there. You can actually see it from here. Yeah, it's not too far, but it's a little ways. Oh, these are the Red Wings, look. Isn't this where the Wyverns are? Yeah. See, it's here. It is... The, the... Oh. We're just gonna run past all these to the... Diamond. Green Diamond over there. Which I think where we were last time, in the last episode. We're just gonna have to make our way back. Those wyverns are freaking huge. Hey, there was a dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get the uh, Code Red Demon, actually. Hopefully we can just... Oh, crap, he's actually pretty fast. Oh, if we're not going that way. Let me just sneak past everybody here to get the old red demon. And then we'll go to... Actually, we're going to have to back back all the way back over here. So I believe it's this one here. Not, not too much of a problem, but... I'm not the biggest fan of too much backtracking. Which I actually felt like we did quite a bit in this game. Yeah, quite a bit of le enemies. I guess if you needed to like level up any amount, it'd be a good uh, area to do it. Since there seems to be a ton. Oh, I'm looking like a peacock. Damn, there's six chests in this area. Holy crap! Well, at least we can get one for sure. Let's actually go over here to the side. There's probably a chest over here, I would imagine. Yep, there it is. There's normally always a chest in closed off areas like this. A life bottle. Oh, don't even need it anyways. Well, let's go fight Mr. Turkey, Peacock, Pigeon, Thing. Get a couple more of these orbs. Alright, fight me, Peacock. Are we ready for this? King Peacock. 42. Weak against fire. Resistance of Earth. Oh, I think he had art defense plus 30 or something. Yeah. Quite a bit. Oh, he is blocking a ton. Oh, there we go. Oh, I tried to block it, but that didn't work too much. This thing is insane. It just won't stop blocking. Uh, let's try to get Rokuro in. I think he has some fire skills. There he goes. It's not too hard. It's just the fact that he won't stop blocking. Besides this, we have four bars. Gauge. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh my god. 
Hey, just... And that was slick. Dodge right by him. He just won't stop blocking. That's the problem. Shit. There he goes. It's pretty easy, actually. Super Ronin, Master, Mistress of Arms. Oh, shit. Three people mastered? Okay, everybody mastered. Plus one maximum souls to uh, characters wearing equipment that have been enhanced. Wow, that's actually really strong. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, actually, all we have is a snake bite. Looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a key, like a hook or something, maybe. Um, let's see which one's better. This one. Chocolate doll. Lulu doll. Oh, it's a cat. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, guess this one since it's so low. Water attack power. Do I have anything else? I oh, guess I do. Let's try these 99 since they're so small. Um, one second. Okay, so let's give her this one's a hundred and nine. Wow, that one's a lot. Let's give her one of these. I think. Roughly, they're all about the same. Let's give her this one. I didn't master anything. Oh. Rupero's, uh... We don't have any more armor to master. Guess we better hope we find something else. Oh, from my understanding, we should have... Or? Oh, they don't have any gate, anything equipped. I don't think, because I only uh, I'm not equipped. Enhanced, because I only enhanced the weapons, and I think we mastered everything. Eh, that's unfortunate. Oh my God! Stop running and block it. Ooh. Get him. Tail uppercut? Oh, it's probably from the Wyvern. Oh, my God. Wait. Get him. God. Uh, let's switch out Eleanor for. Uh, right through here. I just feel like he's better at single damage. Which... I don't know. I just feel like he does more damage overall. I feel like Eleanor just runs around. I mean, sometimes she'd be popping off, but... I feel like she just does nothing compared to Rogue Room. And now we have to go back over here. What is that? A cat box? I would have never seen that if it wasn't so bright pink. I doubt I have enough. Yep. Well, at least I have it, uh, the icon unlocked now. So if you ever wanted to come back and get it, we'll definitely be there. It shows a faster way to travel. Especially since we're going to be backtracking so much. Things going to pop out in front of us. Oh, behind us. That's interesting. I don't know how fast this wyvern is. I guess it's not too fast. Out of the way. Don't be oh. Careless. Well, I guess we're fighting these guys. I didn't realize they were so close. 
Oh god. I feel like the sword and dragon skill is really strong. And knocks him up. I don't know if that helps or not. But. Stop blocking. There we go. Literally, the casters carry me. If it wasn't for the casters, I feel like he would never do damage to anybody. Guess we're in for some mountain climbing then. Isn't that dragon up there though? Oh, oh, the flower over here. Let's get climbing the vines. Oh, I guess there might be a boss fight. There's a safe point here. I like how we were just all the way at the bottom right down there, and then we climbed like two vines and we're all the way up here at the top. Oh, I just find that hilarious. I don't Here. see a dragon. False point I've been feeling. No Therian and no barrier. I oh, must have he's hurt. Wrong again. I wouldn't be so sure of that. That dragon could well have broken its barrier. Or it might have been too powerful for the Abbey to subdue. You could be right. After Maybe. All, dragons make for the strongest demons. The problem is, we don't know if it's a Therian or not. Yeah. Let's stick with the plan and head to Stonebury to gather more information. <sighs> Am I we the we all up there for nothing. The real problem is how we're supposed to fight a frickin' dragon. So we climbed all the way up here to like the peak, and just to see there was no dragon, and be like, "Up, oh, we're done here." Long day's work. I was ready to fight a dragon. Well, apparently there's something we can talk to over here or something. I can't wait to take a good look around. Whoa, now that's what I call a view. I agree that it's beautiful, but don't leap about so much. You'll Very fall. misty. Mm. I can sense many earth pulses under this place. I figured you'd notice that. An intricate web of earth pulses crisscrosses the land under the Aldina Plains. Mountains like these would normally take tens of thousands of years to form, but these popped up in about a millennia. So the earth pulses have affected the land? Exactly. Long ago, people wielded arts that allowed them to manipulate the earth pulses and control the very land itself. How could arts like that exist? Perhaps they pushed against key points on the earth pulses? Like how acupressure can improve a person's blood flow. That's a rather forced comparison. But you may be right. Either way, those arts have been lost for eons. I'm impressed, Eisen. You know a lot about everything. Not at all. There's so much I don't know. For example, the name of these flowers. Lock That's why I travel. To learn. Aldina alabaster grass. That's the name of this oh. flower? Yes. A long time ago. My brother showed me a picture of it in one of his books. They're fragile flowers. They die quickly on their own. But if enough of them gather together, they can survive. Fields of them form beautiful white carpets of flowers. In some cultures, they symbolize kinship. The bonds between people. Kinship? Huh. I'll remember that. You and your brother taught me something new today. I'll never forget either. Very deep and sad. Knowledge is power. Well, back down the vines we go. Wow, that is a jump. I can't remember how much the cat box was. I guess we're going there. Wait. There's two places to go now. Only that one, though. 
So I guess we can try the cat box. Maybe it was 260. Or 50, maybe? Uh, oh, we're backtracking. Yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying the game, but I'm not enjoying the back. We literally had to go all the way up the vines just to see if there was nothing there, just to come back down and go all the way back over to the place we were. Like, that's a little annoying. Oh, actually, it's 25. But I look. It shows like a ray we could run or something. I'm not even sure this is the correct way, but let's try it out. Stoneberry? Yep, there we go. I guess we could technically move both ways. There's something else down there, though. We can't walk up the hill. We're going to go all the way around. Now all these normal people who aren't like demons like us just like travel around. Because there always seems to be a demon somewhere. Uh, that seems very ancient civilization. Uh, all right, well, let's head on in. All right, if I were a blood wing, where? Yay! I found so many blueberries. What are you gonna do with all those? Make Looks like raspberries, me. To feed them to my chickens. That way, they'll lay eggs with purple yolks. What? You know that won't work, right? It sure will. The color of yolks change depending on what a hen eats. My I know. Taught me that. But not exactly. Actually, we always feed our chickens. What are you gonna do with purple eggs anyway? Tourists are coming from the capital again, right? I. <gasps> Maybe I. You've thought that is that. hilarious. You know what they'd make, right? Purple fried eggs. <clears throat> hey. Would you want to eat a s strange things, Sal? You don't have to be so mean just because you can't. Oh, sorry. Here, fine. Go catch a whole bear. If we feed them Gold to beetles. my chickens, we'll get eggs with yolks. I really wouldn't want to be your chickens, but <laughs> what a carefree village. But you know, this is what really makes humanity amazing to me: attempting the impossible, reaching for the stars, just as a matter of course. It is a nice village. Though we may stumble countless times on our way, we can achieve anything we put our mind. Attempting the impossible, huh? That's all well and good, but there are some lines that should never be crossed. Purple eggs. Blech. I mean, they definitely look like raspberries. raspberries yeah, see? Blueberries, blueberries. They all grow in abundance around Stonebury. We even have a fairy tale about it. One day, the ground was covered with so many fallen berries, they all became stones. Stone berries? Is that how the town got its name? The spelling has changed some, but yes. Berries are an important part of this village. We harvest local berries to make jams, pastries, gels, and all sorts of sweets. Delicious. Berry-flavored gels! I've never had one. We've exported our jam and fruit for a while now, but our raspberry gels are still being perfected. Oh, rats. Are the vegetables growing in that field special too? I don't think I've ever seen anything like them before. I like that big tree. You've got sharp eyes. But that's right. They're a rare species of wild potato. They're red and they're called radish bells. We discovered them in the mountains nearby. Sadly, the potatoes are actually highly poisonous. Of course. Really, they look so good. They do, but the skin and the sprouts are toxic. 
If you aren't careful when removing them, it's poison. Deadly poison aside, they're sweet, fluffy, and go great with butter. And when they're fried nice and... So just skin them and sell them. Yes, we've thought of that. But the way they are now, you have to peel off quite a bit before you get to the edible part. Peel one as big as your fist, and all you get for your trouble is a bit of meat the size of an egg yolk. That's why we're selectively uh. breeding them. One day, they'll have only a thin layer of poisonous skin. Why not breed them to get rid of the poison altogether? With no poison, bugs will eat them, and they'll be more vulnerable to cold and heat. He's smart. With potatoes, as with people, getting rid of everything... Pretty smart for sure. Lizard tail. This is like an inn? Oh. Okay. Oh. Veed. Well, hello, sailor. I wasn't already talking. I wasn't done talking with everybody. They drink it out Are well. Waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Obviously, Ro Ro. Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. You're just going to leave? I'm right here. Everybody has times they need to be alone. Uh, they don't really like each other, huh? Right, coming. B. Run the dog name. What do you think he was praying about? I well, read for one thing. He was drinking a bottle of thorny forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life. How romantic! But getting your hands on that stuff is no small feat. I can only hope I'll get a chance to taste it someday. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. You're Velvet, right? Hey. Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over snake on the way dragon. Here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy days, you say? Oh, oh look at that timing. Oh, just look at what you went and made the weather gods do. This doesn't bode well. Not at all. Thanks. We'll give it another shot. Guess we're doing some rain fighting. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot we killed the uh, doc guy. Serial killer tree. What did that say? Provides a twenty-five percent increase in amount of heal. Well, that's really good. I don't know where he is, but we gotta find him. Stoneberry hasn't had much luck growing just yet, but this pioneer town has a lot of potential. It is a nice town. Well here, and the lumber is of great quality. Oh, we're also close to the quarries, so stone isn't a problem. As long as the demons are contained, this country will rebuild. Best of all, this area is quiet, has beautiful lakes, and is a perfect place for a crap. And why settle for anything less? I do feel that you might be a bit short-handed here. It's hard to build without- You're right. We need something to attract new settlers. Maybe some sort of specialty item? Is there any fruit or vegetable that can only be- There is a type of potato called the radish bell that we grow. The poisonous. But it's got a few, uh... <laughs> if you want to attract people, you should just ring a bell. Come to Stonebury, where the money grows on trees. Hmm. A bell tower, huh? That might actually work. We can even use local stones for the bell. The Stonebury Stone Belfry. It won't work. Huh? Wow. Try hitting a rock. Doesn't ring. Ah, oh, how could I have missed that? Um, my master taught me better than this. Oh, is it the son? I mean, the kid from that old guy. I need 
to do better. Uh, okay. Oh, daggers and a spear and a bag and a belt and talisman and a waistcoat. Actually, a couple of those, I think. I'm sure Aizen has one of these somewhere. A waistcoat? Oh. I think you can just grab two. Four string? Our defense plus eight. That one sounds amazing. Boots. More boots. Ah, oh, we're level six now. Wizard. Uh, character has learned it. Okay. I don't know what that means. I like how the tree is just going through him. Oh, yes, yeah, try this. Of course. How the heck do I get over there? Oh, uh, I gotta go around the house. Okay. Ooh. I was on my way home from a trip to Logres. Rain was pouring as if from buckets. And the wind was so strong from the vast. Oh, he saw the dragon sky, too. A monster of a huge flock. At that moment, a group of exorcists leapt out from their hiding spots and began to battle. But it met their swords with its fearsome horns. Horns? Where did the demon go? I couldn't tell you. I was so frightened. I hope the Abbey can get rid of it. Come to think of it, another person was there too. He faced the demon. Zavid. If you're going oh. to the Aldina Plains. Does Vito's find the dragon? Interesting. Maybe he'll uh, meet us up there or something. Oh, is that the? Yeah, yeah. That was the lady. Hey there. Our meeting like this must be Providence meow. Providence. Save it, cats. All the better meow. I just stumbled on a perfectly nifty piece of stone just for you. I want that. What's it for? <gasps> That's not a geo board, is it? Bingo! I dug it out of some ruins, meow. Geo board? Were made by Norman meow me years ago for surfing along Oh my god, the meows. I can't use it, so I figured I'd pawn it off on someone else who could, meow. Wait, Norman made this? That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Why not? Don't be so mean. We're capable of exceptional things. Sometimes. Sometimes. When a Norman speaks their own name, the board springs to life and whisks its masters away at top speed. They'll even plow right through weak demons. You can say it's our masterwork, even if we sort of stumbled on it by accident. I like a skateboard? Well, then I apologize. So we can ride this as long as we have Bianfu with us, right? Well, kind of. Kind of what? Is your true name to activate it? Not my true name, no. My Norman name. Wouldn't what is that? Just be Bienfu? No. Norman have a separate name that goes something like Norman so-and-so. It's almost more a title than a name. Often the name has something to do with what they're good at. Something like Attack, or Chain, or Aqua. That's interesting. Right. You could say names like Bienfu and Grimoire are more like stage names. I actually don't know Bianfu's Norman name, but I can't wait to find out. Awesome, oh, some funny, ain't it? Come on out with it. We're in a hurry. Oh no. Brave. brave. I was Whoa, more manly than I expected. Wait, Bianfu. <laughs> Your Norman name is Brave. Ow. Why do you think I've never told you before, <laughs> At least the board works, meow. And if we get on this board, it'll move us around? Well, about that. The board propels itself by pushing against Earth Pulse flows. To do that, the board needs information on the flows. But this one here is a completely blank slate, meow. Of First, course. you need to find the geo trees in each area. They serve as a conduit between the surface land and the Earth Pulses, meow. 
Once you've actually left Meow. the geo tree, you can record that area's earth pulse data into your geo board. What does a geo tree look like? Got it. This area's geo tree is right over there, Meow. All right then. So long as we find Honestly, I was expecting a tree. We'll be able to use the geo board to travel much more quickly. I was expecting a tree, not a little twisty green thing. Can we finally get this last? You know what? I'm just going. I don't care. So I guess we just walk into it, I imagine. Shut up, Wyvern. Uh, Geoboard and Geo Trees. You can ride the Geoboard by holding RT. Allow you to move faster than usual. Awesome. Perfect timing. As well as travel as previously in acceptable paths. Okay. Uh, you can defeat enemies under a certain level without starting an encounter just by touching them. However, you'll not be awarded any XP. Um, this is uh, interesting. Well, that's going to come in handy. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun to ride too. I could get used to this. <sighs> I'm so worn out. I feel like I had to sprint the whole way here. Huh. Seems like operating the board saps a lot of energy from Bienfu. Even Unfortunate. Still, this board gives us a strategic advantage. Brave here will just have to bear a little exertion now and then. Yeah, Brave. Buck up. I believe in you. Be brave. Ah! Stop calling me that! What's wrong with it? Oh. Um. Ah, crap. You actually have to go all the way back over there? Oh, that's tedious. I mean, it looks faster, but is it actually faster? The Western Plains? This is going to take me yeah, way. Actually, it might be faster. If you have to go around this little curvy here, that might be actually faster. I know it said we could, like, instant kill weak enemies, but... I don't think these ones would be weak. Running kind of blows, but I mean, I guess if it's faster, it's worth it. Is there a chest or something over here? Oh, this is an orb. Uh, I guess we'll just grab all these. Did I miss one? Yeah. Alright, we'll save it here. Come back in the next episode. Fight the lizard dragging creature thing. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.